Hi everyone, I'm Tao Kim. Today I would like to share about linear discriminant analysis. It requires multivariate normal distribution assumption and homogeneity of covariance assumption. If the sample data does not satisfy multivariate normal distribution, we can use Fisher's method. And also, if it does not satisfy homogeneity of covariance assumption, then we can use quadratic discriminant analysis. I have prepared simple data. There are 40 samples and two groups with height variable and weight, var weight variable. In R program, once you read data into R, uh, you can do a covariance matrix homogeneity test with, uh, by box and function. Then, as you can see, uh, we can accept null hypothesis. So it means that two groups uh, show the same uh, covariance. And then once you activate mass library, you can use LDA function for discriminant analysis. LDA means linear discriminant analysis. Then as you can see, the output shows prior probability and group means and uh, linear discriminant coefficients. So I want to show you how to get this data uh, in Excel. So this is gender one and height variable and weight variable. So this is the formula to calculate uh, discriminant function and uh, pull the covariance and cutting point. So as you can see on the right side, there is a cost function and prior probability. So in this video, I will assume same cost and same uh, pr prior probability. It means that this part becomes zero. So we need to calculate x1 bar minus x2 bar and x1 bar plus x2 bar, right, for this uh, linear discriminant function. So let's get a height and weight average and total average. So we can use average if function and range from column B, press F4, comma, uh, Criteria, so let me fix a column, comma, and average range from column C, press F4, okay. Then we can uh, change criteria, this part, okay. Then we can apply this uh, formula for weight, but we need to change uh, average range from column C to column D. Okay, same. And for total average function, and select all data. And for weight average, of weight variable. Okay. Right, x1 bar minus x2 bar can be calculated by x1 bar minus x2 bar here x1 bar plus x2 bar here. Okay, then let's move on to calculate the covariance part, right? So in order to get covariance, I would like to use matrix computation to help you understand about uh, covariance uh, computation. So column E and F uh, is for uh, centering based on total, and column G and F uh, is for uh, group level. So height minus uh, height uh, average from total uh, weight okay. right for column G and H so height minus height average from uh, group 1 here and weight average weight minus weight average from group 1 here so we can use this formula for group 1 and for group 2 height minus height average of group 2 and weight minus weight to average from group 2 
Then let's uh, calculate the covariance part here. So select four cells here and merge matrix computation and transpose from column D, column E and F here. And then select same data and divide by uh, 39 because m minus uh, 1 so and then press ctrl shift enter All right for uh, group 1 covariance same and merge transpose group 1 data and again same data and over 19 because of uh, m minus 1 Control Shift Enter. Okay. For group two, transpose ma and same select same data here and over nineteen and Control Shift Enter. Okay. Then uh, pulled covariance matrix, uh, we can uh, think of uh, weight from a number of samples. So 20 from uh, group 1, minus 1, times group 1 covariance parts, plus 20 from uh, number of samples from group 2, minus 1, times covariance part here. And then divided by uh, m minus 2, which is 38. Okay. Okay. We can apply uh, this formula for other cells. So let's move on to calculate linear discriminant function. So height and weight is uh, 1 by 2 uh, vector. So uh, look at this part, linear discriminant function is uh, x1 minus x2 and uh, inverse of uh, pulled uh, covariance matrix. So, and merge, uh, it should be uh, 1 by 2. So, uh, x1 minus here, and comma, and inverse pulled covariance. Then control shift enter. Right. The cutting points we can use this formula. So emerge uh, x1 minus x bar here, comma, and inverse. This part. And emerge and transpose from x1 plus x2 bar okay and then divide by 2 then uh, press ctrl shift enter right so we calculated uh, linear coefficients for linear discriminants but uh, our coefficients is different from uh, uh, coefficients from our output but it only matters about a uh, scale issue. So as you can see, L A minus over uh, height, then this scale is same as uh, weight. So uh, our cutting point also should be scaled by using this weight. So cutting point times scale. All right. And by using this, our uh, linear discriminant coefficients, we can calculate the score, right? So when uh, C is on the right side, let's call it cutting point. But when we uh, move it to the left, let's call it uh, like constant and total part uh, is named as a score. So score uh, can be calculated by height times height coefficients plus weights times weight coefficients minus uh, cutting points here uh, 
sorry, we need to pre uh, fix uh, cutting point. Okay, so if score is greater than zero, then we uh, group it as one. And if uh, score is negative, then we can uh, give a group as two. Right. So as you can see, this one is uh, incorrect, and this one is incorrect, and this one is incorrect. Okay. So among 40 samples, uh, we classified three samples uh, in a wrong way. So uh, it means that our uh, linear discriminants uh, pretty well uh, class, uh, uh, classified in a right way yeah from uh, 40 samples so this is how we can do uh, discriminant analysis in Excel right so we covered uh, LDA in R and LDA in Excel that's it for today in the next video I will show you uh, some related uh, outputs uh, for uh, LDA I hope this video was useful for you to understand linear discriminant analysis in Excel. Please click like and subscribe my uh, subscribe my uh, YouTube channel uh, if you are looking for more useful videos in the future. Thank you.